today I have for you a viewer contributed uh, creation, I suppose is the correct word. This is the uh, Turbo Heat Fuel Ratio Controller uh, by Jonathan Lang. Now, this is still the prototype version. This is still a work in progress. When I have, or when he's ready to do, you know, like take orders for them, once it's fully ready to build and send, I'll make another video for that. So please don't flood me with messages of where can I buy this? Because you can't buy it yet, not in this video. So what does it do? Its job is to mix uh, fuel for you. So a lot of you out there are burning diesel and veg oil, diesel, hydraulic oil, diesel, some other combustible oil that's not dirty waste engine oil. Uh, what did I say? Ve veg oil, peanut oil, waste veg oil, clean veg oil, random hydraulic oil, mess fuel, all mixed with diesel. And I presume at the moment that you're just mixing it with diesel in a single tank and doing it that way. This controller allows you to have two separate tanks and two separate pumps and it does all the cleverness for you and it is really, really, really clever and I'm really glad this thing exists. So what it allows you to do is, for starters, it can start up on pure diesel. So it can set for a set period of time, it will run on pure diesel to get your diesel heater and the burn chamber nice and hot. And then it can switch to running whatever ratio of diesel to oil you want. So if you want 50-50, set it to one to one or uh, in the manual or in his experiments. So yeah, for starters, he's probably burned more fuels in different ratios than all of us put together in his testing. So when he says the waste engine oil gums up a burn chamber, he knows what he's talking about. But anyway, I digress. So he says in the manual that, let's say you want to run 50-50, so that's a ratio of one to one. One, one diesel pulse to one uh, oil pulse. But he says it's sometimes better if you run it, instead of one to run, you run 10 and 10, so you get 10 pulses of diesel and then 10 pulses of your other fuel. I have not experimented with this as yet, but uh, I suppose it works. As he says here, vegetable oil, vegetable oil works the best and then automatic transmission fluid is a second and then sunflower oil uh, after that. And obviously not waste engine oil, but I'm gonna run waste engine oil anyway because that burn chamber's now got bits missing, so I'm gonna replace it anyway, but just for, uh, shits and giggles, we will play with waste engine oil. Uh, right, let me, um, hold on, I'm going to bring you off the tripod and I will show you at how it is connected. So this is the main box itself here. I've set the timer to turn the display off, let me. Uh, we'll go through all of the bits on the thing. But what it basically is, you can see the wires here. So you take the, this is the feed top half of this wire is the one that comes from the ECU, from the diesel heater, and it plugs into this feed wire that goes into the controller. So that is the signal from the ECU. So it doesn't matter what kind of heater you have, this will work on any kind of heater that has a pulsed fuel signal. So it takes a pulse and it splits into two pumps. So that's uh, pump number one there, which is my waste oil, and pump number two over here, which is just a plain old normal diesel. And what it does is it, it mixes them all up for you and does very clever things like cleans. It's got a clean function and let's start at the start. So let me move you in and then we'll try and zoom in on the screen here so we can see what we're doing. And I saw it just turned off there, right. Zoom in and let's just stay Stay. Stay. Right, I know it's at a funny angle. Right, there's three buttons here. Up, up, down, and enter. All right, we start with the up button, and that selects the first selection, which is up here, which is your T1, which is your oil ratio. You press enter, and then you can adjust the ratio up to whatever is it, like 99 as it goes to. Yeah, no, 99 is the highest value. Well, we are just running one to one. It can also run none. So what I was doing to run on pure waste oil, I would set this to use 
uh, no diesel when it's running, but it'll still start on diesel for the start up. So it would start and run for five minutes on diesel and then turn the diesel off and switch the waste oil. Uh, right, so where we're. So that's second one, T2 is your fuel. You can see there, oil, T1, fuel, T2. This is just the value it thinks is left in the tanks. They were set to I don't know, one litre of oil and five litres of diesel when I started, but and this gauge here, this scale is just a, a visualisation of a amount of tank. And these dashes here would show you or will show you the estimated runtime on your fuel and your oil. Where it says hertz there, that would be the hertz that it's reading from the ECU. Obviously it's off just now and there's just a low oil warning because we've got less than a litre of oil left. Right, uh, gone the wrong way. So if I keep pressing up, it goes through and you can set, that was the tank size I had set previously, but obviously it's gone down, I've been using it. That's where you set the time for the preheat. What's 280 seconds? That's like four minutes odd. So it runs for four minutes for me. Uh, setup takes you into the rest of the menus and if you press it once more that lets you run a clean cycle manually but you can set it to do it automatically so let's go back into setup and I'll show you the rest of the menus so that's some tank sizes uh, stop on empty you can set it to stop on empty fuel stop on empty oil so if whichever one you want it to run out of first to make it stop low, oil, low alarm at the percentage and this is the burn clean, this is the clever bit. So I've got it set there to half a litre. So every half a litre of waste oil, it'll swap back to diesel for, well, 50 millilitres. And you can set that to anything you want. Like, if, like uh, I think it comes factory set it after two litres of waste oil, it'll run like 500 millilitres of diesel through just to clean it. So that it's always continuously cleaning. So hopefully you would get a longer burn without having to take it apart and clean all its insides. On the next page, I missed the button. Uh, flip time and liters, no. So I think it changes the display at the bottom to show you time left rather than liters left. Uh, you can set your two pump sizes because maybe you want a bigger diesel pump or a bigger oil pump. And that's, that's, that's on you. Contrast brightness should be fairly self-explanatory. Uh, Purge oil pulses, so when it runs into shutdown, you can set it to run the fuel diesel pump a set number of times to clean out whatever, you know, your mix that's in there, so it's starting on always fresh, pure diesel. I've set mine to 10, which I think is probably about a right amount looking at how it burns at the end. Uh, purge rate is just it runs for 1.8 hertz to finish it. Backlight time is when it turns the screen backlight off. I've set mine to 60 seconds. Uh, there's a spare entry there because it's still prototype. Factory reset, we don't want to do. The only one that I don't fully understand is the clean void value 10 of 100. I mean, I read it in the manual and it still doesn't make any sense to me, but maybe that's just because I am the dumb. But it's something about like every 100 pulses of something that changes 10 to clean that I don't know that fully I don't really I don't understand it I'll let you read it in the manual later but that's it so uh right well I'll fire up the diesel here and you can watch the screen do its thing here and I'll speed through the bits where it's going to take a long time to do so mine's on the afterburner so I'm just going to press the start stop button and let it run through its thing so it's going to go now and go into the glow plug and the start up in the bit and then we'll see the uh, so we're idle just now and then you'll see the hertz start and then it'll do the preheat and then when we get to the end of the preheat you'll see it will we'll now be pumping on two fuels and i'll bring you back right so that's it now sensed that the ecu is sending a two hertz signal for the fuel pump and the preheat uh, countdown has started what was it 280 seconds or something so it's now going to continuously run at just on diesel fuel on fuel 2 for the 280 seconds that it was and well the hertz will go up as the heater starts to speed up and that's the time i was talking about so it thinks there is 20 hours worth of diesel in that tank at this hertz obviously so the faster it goes the lower these numbers get and that value will go down as well as it drains fuel from the tank
Right, so in 10 seconds, it's about to switch from being purely diesel to a uh, 50-50 diesel waste oil mix. Now, so now, I've also turned it down so you can hear me because it's rather loud when it's running at full power, obviously because there's no outsides. So you can see there, that's uh, 22 hours of running at this speed. And it's now running 50-50. I'll zoom you out. Whoop. So there's the heater running 50-50. I'll see how much of this I can get in shot. Right, heater top left, controller there. So if we change T1, I'm going to make that 2. So it's now going to put two pulses of waste oil in for every one of diesel. Doesn't seem to have affected the output of the diesel heater much at the moment. But basically that's it. Now what I'm going to do, if I go through all the settings, not the settings, the button presses, take it all the way to a clean cycle, so if I rest clean now, it's now turned off the oil, the waste engine oil, and it's now just running on straight diesel again to obviously try and clean the burn chamber. And it does change the flame profile a bit, it's got more blue and yes, less yellow. And obviously it does that for however many things it's set in that clean void. I'm not fully sure how that worked. But it's doing it. Yeah. End the cleaning now, now we'll go back to running on engine oil and Diesel, right, let's get the uh, old thermographic camera out. Just to have a quick peek at. Right, that's way hotter than that, I'll understand. Let's change that to uh, radiometric range, hot. And switch to image overlay. Smashing, whoa. So that's running pretty hot. I mean, it'll go very hot if I was to turn it all the way up, but you wouldn't be able to hear me anymore at that point. You can peer inside. Yeah, it's pretty hot in there. I don't know if you can just see the hot gases. If I change radiometric range, you can see the hot gas. A little bit. You can see a little bit. Yeah, 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 burn. Leave me alone. Right, so that's it running on its waste oil diesel mix. And when you now turn off your heater, it now goes into purge. So it's now put 10 pulses of diesel into the heater. Oh, I forgot to show you the piping so basically I've got a little short bit of pipe into a Y piece so you basically want this piece of pipe as short as possible so it's got the least amount of uh, not time you want it to be obviously as close as possible so it's got a little bit of mixing space but that's obviously my diesel pipe the clear one and that's the waste engine oil uh, and that's a little Y piece and that's it now burning a little bit of diesel left over Obviously this aluminium bit here is just coupled to my temperature sensor so it thinks it's got an outside case on. But that works really well. This, this is going to be very, very helpful in our quest for running on waste engine oil. Now, I was chatting to Jonathan the other day about making another one of these with a third output so you could have your diesel your waste oil and then another one of cleaning compound and then he said obviously the genius thing what he does is just connect another one of these up and that gives you another two possible options of 
fuels to use or cleaning or whatever else you want to like water injection for example you could inject water and a cleaning fluid and so we might go down that route we might get another one and then we'll have like four fuel pumps going at the same time but i wanted to show you that just now while it's still in prototype things because maybe you've got suggestions you should probably join us on our facebook page uh, well it's the self power diesel here and other diesel here projects page i'll leave a link to it in the description but feel free to come and join us there and leave any suggestions or questions down there as well but for this video if you have any other comments questions suggestions please leave them down below i will try my very best to answer them and as always thanks for watching